Hello and welcome to bakingmad.com. I'm going to show you how to make lovely buttery shortbread. So I've got 250 grams of softened butter and I'm going to add 100 grams of semolina. Now you don't have to use semolina, you can use all plain flour, but semolina gives a nice grittiness to shortbread. And then I'm going to add 2 to 5 grams of plain flour and 100 grams of caster sugar and about a tablespoonful or so of vanilla extract. And then you've just got to get your hands in and rub it together to make fine breadcrumbs and then you just keep rubbing and rubbing until it all comes together. So pinch the butter between your fingers, lifting it up to make crumbs as you sort of mix it in with the flour. So when your mixtures come together into a ball, then just pop it into a lightly greased 23 centimetre fluted flan tin, or you can just do it, you can just shape, roll it out into a circle and shape it onto a baking tray if you want. But this makes sure that it stays a nice shape and a nice even thickness. But as I say, if you want to, just roll it out into a circle. Then I like to use a spoon just to make sure it's nice and level and flat and smooth all over. And then take a knife and mark it into eight triangles. It's traditionally that's called uh, petticoat tails if you want to make them triangular but you can of course also roll it into square and Cut it into fingers and make um, shortbread fingers if you want to. And then that just goes in the oven at 160 degrees centigrade, that's 140 fan, for about 50 minutes until it's light and golden. And if you like, you can sprinkle a little bit of demerara sugar on top for a bit of extra crunch. When it comes out of the oven, um, score it again because the lines will probably have disappeared. And then, when it's cool, you can take it out of the tin and, as you can see, it will break easily into slices and it's lovely and short and buttery. Mm, yum.